what's up guys um so i just messaged this guy on like off rub i was just on off rub um because i've been looking for like used 2013 um brz frs um uh, taillights because i want to do a project on them but everybody's asking like an arm and a leg for them now i didn't know they were going for like 150 100 bucks i thought they were always like 20 30 bucks you know um but I found this guy selling his carbon fiber piece and I offered him 20 bucks and he said, yeah. And I'm um, warming up the car so I could go meet him. He's about like 20, 30 minutes out. And I just wanted to record this just to kind of tell you guys a little bit like whenever you're meeting someone, especially at night, it's about to be like 10 o'clock right now. Always be safe. Always try to bring someone with you. I texted my brother, he didn't text me back. So I feel like he might be doing something, but always be safe bring something. I have my Damascus pocket knife I got on Amazon and then I have this like tactical knife I got on Amazon too and that came with the flashlight. Yeah. So yeah guys so if you guys see this video I didn't get robbed or killed um, and I got a new carbon fiber piece. If you guys don't see this video this is evidence that I got robbed for 20 bucks um, for a uh, what may or may not be a real carbon fiber in the description it said it was real carbon fiber i don't know let me just put the directions real quick cool well that was the easiest transaction ever sucks there was no action <laughs> i'm kidding yeah super chill guy uh he sold his brz i guess he never installed it um, so hey, I mean originally he was selling it for 75 bucks and I remember like a couple of days ago I was gonna offer him 50 bucks, but I was like nah, I don't have the money right now Right now I really don't have the money actually because I owe a lot on my credit card right now, but let's not get into that right now um, I got Carbon fiber piece and it's actually real carbon fiber. I thought it was like an overlay or like fake carbon but no look it's a real carbon fiber this is gonna go so good on the back piece oof I can't wait guess what I know what I'm installing tomorrow Ooh. um but I feel like I am gonna have to drill a hole for my backup camera I don't think this this one has it but it's all good Oh, I'm excited, guys. Holy sheesh. Just, you know, COVID right now, so just take a little bit of precaution. Well, guys, well, guys, I guess I'll update you guys tomorrow in the morning, and we're going to install this thing, and let's get another video out for you guys. Thank you guys for the support so far, and we hit 700 subscribers, so, oh, man, my mouth is getting all watery. I don't know why. I'll update you guys in the morning of me installing the carbon piece because um, most likely I'm going to have to drill through it and i got to look for my Dremel. So, I guess good night guys and see you guys in the morning. It's so weird to say good night to a camera, whatever. Good morning guys. Welcome back to the channel. It's the next morning. I just got finished taking a shower and I'm ready for this video today. I didn't show you guys last night how it looks. Here's the bottom of it. This is where the lights go for the license plate. And here is a keyhole. The only thing this doesn't have is a spot for my backup camera. So let's go check it out. And it looks like one, I just noticed this, but it looks like one of the things is broken off. But I don't think I need it. I think with four screws, it's, it's enough. So let me show you guys how to take off the original one and how to put this one on. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is actually remove this part right here. It just has little push pins right here. Then you just remove it and put it on top of my brother's 240. And you guys could tell I need to put out a little notch for it. But it's held on by five clips, which is this one. This is the one that broke off for me on the new piece or new to me piece. And there's a couple. There's one over here. There's one right there. And there's one more over here. Then this piece, 
I kind of just grabbed the screwdriver and I just smacked it hella times upwards and it popped it out. So OEM, new carbon fiber one. And you can tell one, two, three, four, five, six. One, that one broke off, so two, three, four. So, it looks like these two are for the lock mechanism. It sucks that this one broke off. And then this is just like one of those safety ones that I don't think this one comes with. Well, let's see if it hooks on pretty good. Then I'm gonna clean that up a little bit with the microfiber towel. Oh, I wonder what that is. Oh, what the heck? Oh, it's just a grommet. That's crazy, I didn't know I had this. So I think now I know why this dude sold it to me so cheap. Kinda looks like the bolts don't line up that good. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this piece first. Um, just like so a have that notch for the backup camera and I'm gonna use a silver sharpie To just kind of make an outline of it Okay guys, so I ran into a lot of complications I kind of scratched up the current fiber which kind of sucks But the bolts didn't align so I need to remove another one And hopefully we just with three you'll hold so my girlfriend put me on a time crunch I came to O'Reilly's because the original bolts um, that I was using for the OEM one wouldn't fit. These are a lot thicker, so I need to come here and buy some M6 by 1.0. And it looks like they're all fitting <laughs> besides this one right here. This one's getting stuck right at the top, um, which, oh, which kind of sucks. Because my girlfriend made me wear jeans. She wants to go. I guess her family's having like a party somewhere, so. Unfortunately, it can't work on the car the entire day, so I'm just gonna do this really quick and then go pick her up so we can head out. So I'll update you guys once I install it. There we go. It's like nice and on there. Um, the only downfall is there is only three hooks and the one on this side broke when I first bought it. So it's gonna be slanted for the, the locking mechanism. So hopefully it doesn't move around too much. And yeah, there's some people in the background. But now let me just slap on back the little cover and we're good to go. Cool, I might just slap this back on so let's see the finished product. That looks a lot better. Most likely I'm gonna put the Subaru badge back on. 